Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Yosemite Mountain Sugar Pine Railroad virtual shop tour number three. You're taking a look at locomotive number 15. It is a 59-ton Shea locomotive built for the Sierra Nevada Wood and Lumber Company as their number nine. Uh, that locomotive operated there until it was bro brokered to the uh, Westside Lumber Company, which they already had a number nine. So they uh, ground out the number and hand painted a number 15 on it, and it became number 15 for Westside. This uh, number plate, as we zoom in on it, was made by the Westside and Cherry Valley, a tourist operation that, that took over at that location, and they made a plate that looks just like if it had come new from the Lima Locomotive Works and uh, Lima or Lima, no matter where you are in the country and how it's said, but they're in Ohio. So we'll do a little walk around here on engine 15. Come down and look at the front truck. You'll see that it, it's been assembled. Take a look at this point right here. You'll see two coupling links and you'll see the universal connection in between. Those holes on the top are where the lubrication happens. The horn is just below that point. And if we look at the side of it, you'll see there's one of the horns. That's the one from the universal. And then up here on top, that's the one that's connected to the line shaft for the front truck. Um, this one's all been reassembled. This part of the locomotive is ready to go. Come back and we look at the three cylinders. Here's our nice all wood cab. There's the shea plate. And if we look down here, we can see there's the crankshaft. And we'll see the brass cap on the top of it. There's another one down below. They're still working on putting it on that piece. Here is the, the two horns, and there is the pinion gear, and then the rain gear where it connects. Notice the brass there, right where the pinion gear goes into that box. That is the line shaft bearing that we looked at last week. We saw that our shop manager, Greg Haywood, put those together. There's one inside that box. You can see there's the brass tree on the other side. There is the line shaft, another pinion gear, another ring gear on the wheel. Hard to see the brass on that side, but then you can see the brass on this side. That's all part of that, that bearing. And you can see here is the coupling ring. The horns are inside of it. You can see there's the universal. And you can see it still needs to be assembled here to the last truck, but it's almost there. You can see how it goes together right top of that. You'll notice that there is a, uh, a cap that sits on top of the horn. That's so when these round pieces right here are, are clamped down that it actually has something to push up against. Keeps that brass sleeve from moving around as well. We'll walk back over here to where we're working. You can see out here in the foreground, there's the universal piece, still missing the other piece that goes attached to the other horns on that side. And then you can see a coupling ring before it's been put on, and you can see the little concave half circles right there. That's where that horn and that horn will rest on that piece helps everything turn around because this main crankshaft will drive the two rear trucks and then through that assembly that we saw in front um, to the front truck. And then underneath the locomotive there you can see the other coupling ring that will go on this side over here. You can see up here in front there's a, a brass sleeve. Pick this up. Up. That's going to go right there. Nice smooth fit. Put a little bit of grease to hold it in there. And then uh, that'll keep it in place. And then through these holes up on the top right there is where it's going to get its lubrication each day. 
that the locomotive runs. So we'll finish our walk around here on 15. You can see this line shaft is all in place. Bearings are all there. Boxes have it all been bolted up. And then all the way over here in the back, you can see one little piece that's left. That's the other half of that universal that's gonna attach from the crankshaft to the truck underneath the cab. Over on the other side, you can see locomotive number 10. Locomotive number 10, there is the front line shaft sitting out. Notice how it's sitting up on uh, railroad ties. One of the nice things about a Shea locomotive is it's really easy to work on them. All the parts are out in front. This is exactly the same way they did it back in the day. That is the axle that you're looking at, that shiny part. And inside that box is where the line shaft bearings for number 10 will go. And number 10 is getting brand new bearings on each of its three trucks. We hope to show that with you at a future tour. Hope you enjoyed our tour this week. We look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.